Court justices are weighing whether employers should have to accommodate pregnant women who are no longer able to do some of the tasks that they were hired to do. Mark Albert is at the court with more on this important case. Moms rallied outside the Supreme Court in support of Peggy Young, a former UPS driver put on unpaid leave while she was pregnant. Stand with Peggy. Young's doctor told her she would no longer be able to lift more than 20 pounds, and UPS requires its drivers to lift up to 70 pounds. Once I got the note, I took it into the health nurse, and she basically said, we don't provide light duty for off-work incidents. Basically, you can't work while you're pregnant. That left Young without a salary or health benefits for seven months. She says UPS violated the Federal Pregnancy Discrimination Act. UPS said it was following the law, but recently volunteered to change its policy to offer more accommodations for pregnant women, a move the company notes is actually ahead of many companies and government agencies. The lower courts sided with UPS. This case has united two camps behind Young that often oppose one another, women's rights groups and anti-abortion groups. A woman should never have to decide between starting a family or supporting her family. Young says she will lobby Congress to spell out accommodations for pregnant women in the law, no matter what the justices decide. Mark Albert for CBS News, the Supreme Court. A decision from the justices is expected by late June.